not easy being the voice of law in a lawless town. It eats away at you one day at a time. And day by day, you begin to feel less and less like a man. Hey, uh, did you want the last donut? It's got sprinkles. Could you? I'm... Yes. The two of us are the last bastion of truth and integrity against a rising tide of inequity, criminality, and evil. They call us the Farty, the Farty Brothers. Br Today we are working on the biggest case that this precinct has ever seen. First the perps started small, stealing candy bars from the local mom and pop candy shop, then a hammer and nails from the hardware store, always leaving behind an aluminum token but now, they're escalating. They've got the taste for crime. They call themselves the Illuminati. Mere hours ago, they stole a priceless artifact from the art museum, and they left behind their usual memento. But this time, they left a little something else behind. Fingerprints. We were comparing the prints to the ones that we had on file, and that's when she walked in. Allie Park. Hello, are you Mr. Farty? First of all, is it Miss Park or Mrs.? Miss. Okay. Um, is it normal to film these interviews? We'll be asking the questions. When did you notice the statue was missing? Well, it was there at the beginning of the tour I was giving but by the end it was gone. Did you notice anything suspicious? There was this couple that was trailing behind the rest of the group, and when they finally caught up, I noticed the woman was struggling to hold onto her purse. It was as if it was heavier than it was before. A likely story. Why'd you do it, huh? To feed your ravenous appetite for crime? Get a hold of yourself, brother. Sorry, brother. Could you describe the couple? They were, to put it nicely, odd. They were both wearing fake mustaches, even the woman. Could you describe them in more detail? The woman had long curly hair and wide green eyes. The man had short dark hair and a striking jawline. They were both quite pompous looking, really. Something like this? Yes, that's literally exactly what they look like. Uh, could you excuse us for a moment? That's Caroline Valentine and her husband, Edgar. He's the heir to the Valentine aluminum foil fortune. Should have known. Well, time to put these dirty birds in their cage. So are we gonna do this? These were two of the most powerful people in town. You were gonna have to play this very carefully. I understand there was a robbery at the art museum this afternoon. How dreadful. Is there anything we can do to help, officer? I understand you're patrons of art. We do whatever we can to advance the artistic pursuits in this fine town. And you're frequent visitors to the museum. What do you take us for? Undignified Commodores? <laughs> <laughs> oh, certainly not. When was the last time you visited the museum? Honestly, it's been so long, I do not remember. Sorry, we've been so rude. Uh, can we offer you a tea or coffee? Your finest champagne, please. We were saving that for when we caught our parents' killer. Glass. How quaint. How gauche of me. Let me fix the error of my ways. Edgar, I understand your family made their fortune in aluminum. Oh yes. Daddy made all his money in aluminium. <laughs> well, this has been fun, but we really must be going. Hold it right there, you lawless reprobates.
What are you doing? Your fingerprints were all over that little token you left at the museum. I lifted them from those glasses you were holding. Uh, hogwash, I... And a beautiful I, lady puts you two at the scene of the crime. Well, do you not even have mustaches? Why'd you do it, huh? Were you bored of your life of privilege? Or were you excited by the thrill of getting caught? Uh, all of the above. All of the above, really, yeah. It's, um... I'll just... Our sex life has been really lacking lately, so... Lacking quite a bit, actually. We've tried yeah. a, a number of things, such as uh, aphrodisiacs and... Uh, so we just really foods, needed to but, spice um, things up. Yeah, I agree, but it's, it had been difficult to find... Um... Spice things up! Oh, okay. Get your freaking <laughs> dink indie <laughs> film out of my face! It's police brutality, that is. No, no it's not. How dare you make a mockery of my documentary? Well, I hope getting locked up was enough of a thrill for you. You have no idea. Hey, is that no pizza, bud? That went pretty well, if I do say so myself. Foiled again.